Now, a really common beginner question with teams is how do you go about creating your first team to begin with? So if you don't see any teams in this list, it means that you're not part of any teams and if you haven't created any, you won't see them here either. Now, the first thing to do is click on the Teams icon at the left hand side. Once you've clicked on that, click Join or Create Team. Now if you have a code, you can join any other teams you've been invited to. But what we're going to do today is create our first team just by clicking on the Create Team icon. This is going to give us a few options for a class, professional learning community, depending on what you need. Select the most relevant option. I'm going to go with professional learning community because that's going to allow us to do some of the things that we want to do, like share files, start video calling, that kind of thing. Give it a name and a description. And crucially, always keep your teams private unless you really want them to be public. Um, in the case that you do make them public, just make sure you're aware that Anybody can join them if they have the code and anybody can leave any messages or anything like that. So we'd always recommend keeping them private to begin with. Adding people to your team is the next step. So as long as you've got their Glow username, you won't have a problem adding them. Just type their username and the directory will bring up the relevant person. Right now we're going to add Pam. We get our username and click add and then we can make her a member or an owner. I'm not going to do that right now, um, but that's how you would add them in. Once we've saved all those changes, we can now see that our team has been created. You can see that it's called Test Team, and we're now free to add in any conversations that we want. So this is our main stream page. So this is where any conversations that we want to share with our team members will appear. Here we can see is you know, a welcome to the channel. People can now reply to that. If we click on the Files tab at the top, we can see any files that we've shared. And there's also the option to add in a notebook if you want to do that as well. Now, just because we've created a team doesn't mean that we can't make any changes. The three dots next to your team name will give you a few options to make those changes. Here we can see Manny's team, adding in staff and making other changes to your team are still available. So if you click on add staff, for example, we can add a member of staff to your team just by going through the same process of searching for their username. If we click on manage team, we're going to get a few more options there, such as responding to requests that might have come in. Maybe someone's used their join code, you can find them there and approve them. You can manage your channels here, and you can also change the image that you want to change or set user permissions for your team. This means that they might not be able to delete things that you don't want them to delete, and you can do the same for guests. If you do want to share your team, you can generate a team code. All that people have to do is type that code into the Teams join code area. So if we click on the Teams icon, go back to join and create, we can now enter that code there and join the team as a member. 